everyone! Today I wanted to do a video on things that I want to project pan. Yes, I know people start this earlier in the year, like I think they do it in January, so next year January they should be done panning it. But I decided to do it now because it's a really good idea to pan products and use them up because as a makeup lover you buy so much makeup but do you? use it up properly do you pan all of your palettes probably not because always new ones and new ones come out so yeah I just wanted to do a project pan I don't know how long I would use all of these up for but if I'm not enjoying a product I would let you guys know and I'll take that out of my project pan because I don't want this project to be like a burden on me that I have to use them you know what I mean? Like, if I don't really enjoy it, what's the point in using these products up? So I picked all products that I really do love and I actually do want to pan them. So either if I really love them, I can go buy another one. Or if I don't really like them, I can go to my next palette and use that one up. So I did pick quite a bit of powder products. And if I do want to add new products into this project, then I will. But for now, these are the products that I have. And I don't know how regular I'll app update you guys let me know down below on how frequent you want the updates so let me go ahead and show you the products that I have okay so the first product that I have is an eyeshadow palette this is the MAC eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like I'll probably open it up and show you guys I'll Okay, so I opened it up so you guys can actually see. This is what the palette looks like. None of these eyeshadows have pan in them. So this is what it looks like. My goal is to hit pan on maybe at least three of the colors in here. But that's just a goal that I want to reach. Not in a year, but maybe like six months, I actually do want to hit pan on maybe three of them, hopefully. Yeah. The ones that I think I'll hit pan on first is probably this vanilla shade. They have names, hold on. Brulee. Saddle. What's the shade in the middle? Honey Lust. Those three shades are the ones that I think I'll hit pan on. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So that's the eyeshadow palette that I actually want to use and hit pan on. I do really like MAC eyeshadows, but I still want to use this palette up so I can actually see progress in it. Right now I've been using really different palettes, so this would be good to incorporate into my daily routine. So the next one I'll show you guys is a primer. This one, I've used up quite a lot of it, like you can see those marks on the side. I don't know how you guys are actually going to see how much product is in here, but this is what the bottle looks like. What's that? And I'll show you guys the inside if you can see. Probably not. But I don't have much in here. I think I might have like that much left. My goal is to use up the product that's inside of it. Try to get the sides as well if I can with like a Q-tip or something. So I want to finish this all up. I do really love this primer. I use it every day, 99% of the time. It's the primer that I use. So I do want to use it up and I might actually buy another one of this. So we'll see when I finish it up or I might finish my other products and then go with this one. But I actually do really, really love this one. But I do want to finish it at the same time because I don't have much in here. So that's that. The next product is a concealer. I only have one concealer in this project. I don't know why I just bought one. Uh, I've got this one. This is more like up to here. This product is like up to here. So yeah, 
I do want to finish this up as well because I've got a backup of this one when it was on sale. I bought two of them. I do really love this. It's a really good highlighting concealer. I do use it to carve out my eyebrows as well since it has a tip like this and sometimes I do use it just to brighten up my under eye. I haven't used it today like under my under eye but I did use it under my brow. So that's that. Then I have more powder products. Powder, powder, powder. You guys are going to be like, I don't know why I should put a lot of powders in it. These, I've got the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC15. I love this powder so much. And I also have the MAC Mirrorwise Skin Finish as well in this project. So this is the Studio Fix powder. This is it. It does have a little bit of a dip in it, but not any sign of any pan or anything like that, so that's what it looks like. When I hit pan, these would be more obvious, so yeah. And then the, the other one that I mentioned is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is what that one looks like. Oh god, it's so bright. Hold on. So, there's not really pan, but there's a huge dip in here. So, I might continue dipping into that little part there because I think it's going to hit pan soon. Really soon. That's what it looks like. I have more pad products. I've got this Laura Mercier highlighter, which I adore. This is like my favorite highlighters again I did include things that I do really love into this project because if I do really love them I want to use them up and if I do really enjoy them buy another one that's what it looks like and if you want to see it from here like for the dome part of it it's kind of flat not really flat but it doesn't really have the dome anymore because I do use it really, really often. I do have it on today. That's what it looks like. But I do, I did use today the Becca highlighter in Moonstone. So that's what this one looks like. Again. So my other face powder that I want to use is this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bronzer in number two. That's what it looks like. This one has a more obvious dome. Hold on. As you guys can see, it's more obvious. There's no pan on it. There's nothing on this one. This one is more of a recent purchase. Yeah. Then I have a blush, another powder product. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And this is what that one looks like. I have been using this a lot and this is like a powder that I actually do like as a blush. Ones that you can sharpen. So I've got the Rimmel Lasting Finish and the Essence lip liner in in the nude and the rimmel one is in 40 49 natural so these are what they look like i might mark them on paper which some people do like this the last product that i have is this mark jacobs eyeliner it's a new not a purchase but it came as like a sample i do want to use this i have a lot left in it like this is it down until the end yeah this there's a lot in this I don't want to scroll it I don't want to scroll it all up so this is it down and that's what it looks like you can see a little bit like that mm -hmm. but otherwise the progress with this would be to see that going even more down into the tube and then I can lift it up and then we can see it. So yeah, this is everything for my project pan. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe to me if you want more videos from me. So I'll see you all in my next video. By the way, please subscribe to me. 
because it'll make my day. I do want to reach the 500 subscriber mark. So yeah, bye everyone.